Hi guys, it's Miss Josette and I am just here with this week's message. This is the second week of Advent. This week is the week of love. Sometimes this week the candle is called the Bethlehem candle, but this week is the candle of love for us at Penn Hills Baptist Church. And we are celebrating love in this Christmas season. And that's what we're going to focus on is love and giving and just the joy of Christmas in the in this Advent season as we're just celebrating Jesus and the real reason for the season. And talking about love, I wanted to talk about Jesus and his and the reason that he came and what God did for us with that. So I started thinking about a book that I could share with you. And you're probably going to wonder now, how does this tie into Christmas, Miss Josette? And I was thinking about the book, The Giving Tree. And I don't know if any of you have read this book, but this is one of my favorite books. I love this book. This book is about a tree and a little boy. And this book starts out talking about that once there was a tree and then there was a little boy and she loved the little boy. And it talks about all of the things that the tree gave to the little boy, that the little boy could climb the tree, the little boy ate of the apples of the tree, the little boy played in the leaves and swung in its branches. And as the little boy got older, the little boy used the tree for shade. And you see things as the little boy continues to get older. But then as the little boy continues to get older, he goes away and the tree gets sad. And then At one point, the tree ends up getting so old, it gets cut down and all that's left is a stump. And at that point in the story, the little boy comes back as an old man and the tree is sad at that point because he has nothing to give to the boy or so he thought. You see, the old man needed a place to sit and rest and what a perfect place, but that stump That stump was a perfect place for the old man to be able to sit down and rest. And the tree was happy because the tree had loved the little boy. The tree had loved the little boy his whole life. And so I started thinking about how that goes along with Jesus and God in the Christmas season. You see, God loved us so much. God loved people who he who hadn't even been born yet. God loved all of us so much much that he sent his son to come to earth as a little baby and to grow up on earth as a man so that his son could die for us on the cross. So God loved us so much that he sent his son to be born in a manger. Do you think that someone who is the king, God Jesus is the king of the Jews. Jesus is prophesied as the Messiah. Could you imagine that someone who is the, is the king and who is God's son being born in a stable? But that's exactly what happened. God sent his son to earth and he was born of earthly parents and he came to earth and was born in a stable from humble beginnings. And he lived among us, walked among us, and experienced life with us. Because God loved us so much, he wanted that to be able to happen, that Jesus would walk with us and be with us here. And then, and then comes the Easter part of the story, which will be coming up in a few months. But Jesus then died on that cross for us. That is love. God had one son. And he loved us so much that he chose to sacrifice that one son for people who maybe didn't even know him, who maybe wouldn't ever want to know him, but he chose to sacrifice his son for all of us. That's what the Christmas season is about. Christmas parties are fun. Gingerbread houses are fun. Playing games is a blast getting to sing carols and do fun things and give gifts. It's a blast. But what Christmas is all about is what we find in the Bible in Luke chapter two. There's a couple other places where it's found too, but Luke two is my favorite in Luke chapter two. And we're going to read that story or we're going to hear that story next week. 
in Luke chapter 2 when it tells us about all about Jesus's birth, him being born in a manger, and the shepherds and the angels and the wise men coming. It's an amazing story of Christmas, and that's what it's all about. It's about the love that God had for us so much that he gave it all. For God loved the world so much that he gave it all in sending his son to earth. And it seems like such a simple story, and it really is. It's just like I've told you guys, it's as simple as ABC. Knowing that Jesus did that, believing on it, and choosing him. It's that simple. And that's my excitement for the Christmas season. And I'm so excited for next week to get to be with you guys in person. For those of you who are local to us and get to attend with us in person, I'm so excited to share with you guys next week and be able to have our annual Christmas celebration because Christmas is a fun time. But Christmas is also all about love and about Jesus and the real reason for the season. Well, thank you so much for listening tonight and let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for this opportunity to share. Father, we thank you for giving everything to us in your sending your son to be born on a, a, to be born in a stable on a, from humble beginnings, Father, that your son, your heavenly prince son would be born and give us, give of his life for us, Father, to give everything for us. That is the ultimate sign of love. And Father, we thank you so much for that gift. And we can only help but remember that this week as we think about the second week of Advent and the love. In the name of your son, we pray. Amen. Thanks, guys. See you soon.